continuing to field questions for us familia i have a student who's sitting the comp in three weeks i know many of you have your comp in four months two months one week etc whether it's for comp step one versus comp step two relax okay i know there's variation here but the student's asking how is he going to pass the comp now look uh, i will give you some very important points as far as as far as how to get through your comp all right um finally pass this thing and take your step exam so uh, before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let's start the clip. How do we get you through the comp? And there's going to be variation of you guys watching this as far as is your exam in a week? Is it in four months, etc.? The foundation is you got to get through UWorld. That's pretty standard. That's pretty uh, non-creative. It's just you got to get through questions, all right? That's understandable. Now, if you're already running up to your exam and there's a sense of urgency and you don't have time to get through UWorld, well, you need to make sure you know the NBME content. So I think the first point I want to make, all right, because there's a lot we can discuss here, make this a 49-minute clip. The first point I want to make is you need to get through as many questions as possible, UWorld as well as the NBME questions. And I'll get more specific in a second. The second point is for the step one level comp in particular, your school CBSE slash comp, some of you need a 197, some of you need a 208, 209 to pass. You need to get through High Yield Arrows PDF. The High Yield Arrows PDF, and I'll link it below, is incredibly important uh, for you to pass the comp. It's the most important document I've created uh, of all my PDFs because it's custom tailored to literally getting you guys who are not passing to pass. Now, all my PDFs, I mean, they're subject specific, of course, like cardio, palm, renal, etc. You can learn your topics, fine. And they're all very good. But most of the students I work with are just struggling to pass, whether it's just the straight up the USMLE or the comp CBSE exam. So most of my students are just praying to pass. And over time, I've been able to gain a sense of, well, what material specifically represents that gap uh, from closing you from, let's say, 160s, 170s up to 205? Or if you need a 208, 209 to pass, how do we get you from a 165 up to a 210? Now, it's not going to be weird glycolytic enzymes. It's not going to be lateral versus medial pontine syndrome. You need to know basic shit, like how does PTH work? What does aldosterone do? What does ADH do? Okay, I mean, you need to know basic stuff. That's what high yield arrows focuses on. Now, it doesn't mean high yield arrows alone is going to carry you through the exam, nor should it. Okay, I mean, you shouldn't be able to give one PDF to someone off the street and then they can pass a medical licensing exam, right? I mean, that shouldn't happen. But when we talk about you guys who, you know, you're struggling to get through comp, maybe you've had a few fails, like it's really just, you know, you're not making progress, your scores are subpar, how the fuck do we get you through it? You got to go through high yield arrows twice, three times. Uh, that's what I recommend for various students. And you have to do as many questions as you possibly can. I've made lots of clips here on the YouTube as far as how to go through UWorld, uh, how to go through the NBME exams, 20 through 30 for step one, as well as for step two, all the clinical mastery series forms and NBME six through 11. I've made lots of clips on that stuff uh, in more detail, uh, but uh, I really want you hammering out UWorld uh, tutor mode, untimed, random, 40 to 80 questions per day. If you're struggling to make inroads through UWorld, you're going to do blocks of 10. I've made clips on that as well as far as how not to ADHD the fuck out in QBank. You're going to do blocks of 10. And then uh, just knock each block you knock out at a time. It's uh, easier to make inroads to the QBank. You're going to go through the NBME exams. You're going to be screenshotting your incorrects from those exams into a Word document, saving as a PDF slash Anki. And you're going to be really whipping through those NBME questions, okay, in addition to high yield arrows. Now, as I said before, I could do a 49-minute clip on how to prepare for comp CBSE. I normally do Skype sessions with students, and we come up with a very tailored uh, plan. But when I make broad umbrella-type clips uh, such as this one, uh, it's going to be questions and getting you through high yield arrows. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.